This may sound like an advertisement for a dishwasher detergent, but fasten your seatbelt. Here we go. Are your dishes not coming out clean or aren't coming out shiny clean? Have you tried several brands of detergent without success? Then stay tuned. We may have the answer without buying a new dishwasher. I'm Scott Bain. They call me the old farmer. If you grew up on a farm or living on one, you know that not only do you have to keep the farm equipment working, you also have to keep the stuff inside your house working, too. Granted, there are things that can't be fixed like your television or too complicated like that high-efficiency furnace. But when it comes to the dishwasher, there are a few things you can do. A dishwasher is a fairly simple appliance once you get past all the gadgetry on the door. It's a water pump, heating coil, and a whole bunch of snozzles. If the dishes are not coming out as clean as when the dishwasher was new, there are a few things you can do to make the dishwasher as good as new. The first thing I would think of is that the detergent was reformulated and does not clean as well as it should. So throw half a cup of baking soda in with that detergent. I sprinkle it on top of the flat surfaces so it will dissolve in the hot water of the first wash cycle. If that doesn't sparkle the old Pyrex, let's go on to step two. Most dishwashers have snozzles that can be taken apart. This dishwasher here came with a house and does a pretty good job of cleaning dishes. When we do a kitchen remodel, we will switch to a built-in or possibly a drawer-style dishwasher. But whatever kind you get or have, they all work about the same. Usually, it's a spinning arm or two with lots of holes in them that sprays water and detergent at the dishes like a fire hose putting out a fire. The abrasives and the detergents hit the dishes and knocks the dirt off. The degreasers in the detergents remove the grease and oils. The detergent may add a stink to the mixture to make everyone think that the dishes are clean. The heat sanitizes the dishes. If you have a commercial unit, they have more powerful motors and higher temperatures to clean the dishes. An alternative to high temperatures in a commercial dishwasher are chemicals that clean and sanitize the dishware. Some commercial dishwashers can clean a load in as little as three minutes. But they are very loud, and the dishes could be very hot to the point that Tupperware will only be a blob in the bottom of the dishwasher. What is happening to any dishwasher is the nozzles get plugged, and the liquid can't get to the dishes. So instead of drilling for oil, drill for food particles that may have gotten stuck in the nozzles. On most models, you don't need any tools to take apart the spray arms. Grab onto two different areas, and it either unthreads or it has tabs and slots connecting everything together. Toothpicks are one of the tools that will work to clear the nozzles. It's best if it's the round style toothpick instead of the flat style, although they will work. You might have to use some 22 gauge wire to totally open up some of the snozzles. Keep working on each nozzle until it's cleared, and then move on to the next. Some models may use turning thrusters to help spin the spray arms. Make sure you clear these nozzles, too. If there is any hole, clear it. In most instances, cleaning the nozzles of the food particles will be enough. Some of the dishwashers I've had in the past have had to have the soft food disposal, and even the pump needed a good cleaning. After you have cleared all the snozzles and reinstalled the spray arms and all the other features that have been removed for cleaning that need some loving care, take a cup of baking soda and run the dishwasher on the hottest setting and the longest cycle. You don't need to have the drying element turned on. Run on the heaviest cycle 
and if all the baking soda has been cleared out, add some more if the sides have not been cleaned of your dishwasher. You can also use a cup or two of vinegar, but first drain all the water and run a rinse cycle. You don't want to mix the vinegar with baking soda. You could have some fizzing to contend with, similar to the old volcano science experiments from former school years. One of the things you can do to help keep the dishwasher operating as it did originally is to insert a filter in the hot water line to the dishwasher. Depending on your water, I would use a 5 micron filter for unfiltered well water. It will have to be changed often, but that's part of the price of keeping your water clean. If you have municipal water, take it down to a 1 micron filter. Don't go below the 1 micron in filter size because you are now fooling around with the atomic structure of water. You can strip an ion or two out of the water, which will make it up from any place it can, such as the metal or plastic pieces in your dishwasher. The filter shouldn't need to be any larger than that of a typical school lunch vacuum bottle. You may need to pick up some adapters to make everything go together. There are few things worse than a waterlogged cabinet floor with all the assorted things stored under the sink. So make sure all the connections are tight. If you don't know, put a pan, a bowl, or some towels under the line to catch any drips. With this house, I've done whole house filters, starting with a water softener, then through a 25 micron filter, and then I polish the water with a charcoal filter that takes out odors of sulfur. The hot water heater is an on-demand water heater with its own filters that have to be changed out occasionally. Our drinking water comes from a reversed osmosis filter system that makes the water next door to distilled water. It isn't distilled water, but darn close to it. It makes for clear ice cubes. It's a good idea to clean your dishwasher at least once a year, if not more often. And if you need extra cleaning power, add an additional quarter cup of baking soda by sprinkling it onto the horizontal parts of the dishware during a typical wash cycle and when you have extra crusted food on some pots or pans. Could be between a half hour to an hour and then run the heavy cycle with baking soda. If you have any broken or worn parts, replace them so that the dishwasher can do the best job it can in cleaning dishes. Very seldom do you have to replace a dishwasher. As components break, such as the pump, replace it. It's a simple DIY project. When do you replace a dishwasher? That's simple. When you can no longer get replacement parts. Thank you for watching, and if you and 10,000 of your closest friends will subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. We need all the help we can get. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Bain. Be well. Be safe. Don't forget to click like and click subscribe on the old farmer YouTube channel, and thanks again for watching. Bye. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.